So I've been having a blast flying the DJI Avada drone over the last couple days. It's been a lot of fun. I actually really like this quad. It's pretty freaking cool for what it is. I've been putting it into manual mode, but I've also been playing with the goggles too, as you can see. So I've got two issues with my goggles too. The first one is a fit issue and the second one is optical issues and both of them kind of bounce off each other. And now please keep in mind as you watch this that goggle experiences are very subjective from person to person. What works on one person's face may not work on another. But that being said, this experience for me is exceptionally worse compared to all other goggle experiences that I've had. And I'm worried that it may not be fixable for me. Now, in case you haven't noticed already, I want you to see my nose structure. I want you to see the size of my nose and especially the bridge area here. I've got a big Italian nose, okay? <laughs> and I've got a pretty decent size nose bridge. I can feel a very distinct pressure on my nose and it's right on the bridge area and it is significantly uncomfortable like it is this these are this is very uncomfortable right now it is pressing down on my nose and it just doesn't feel good at all it it, it just it's it's terrible so let's take a closer look at these and pull the faceplate off here and kind of see how much leeway there is for your nose. See, as you can see, there's really just not a whole lot here. There's not a lot that can be reduced. I mean, the foam itself is not even that thick. But what, what my nose is hitting is literally this plastic right here. My nose bridge is literally hitting this plastic here. Compare that to the original DJI FPV goggle. And I've got the stock foam installed as well here, okay? Now let's take a look with these goggles. As you can see, this thing, I can even put my pinky up in here really. And it's not, they're not touching my nose bridge. It's not messing with my nose bridge at all. I do not have that pressure on my face with the goggle V1. Here's the sky zones as well. Let's take a look at what my, how my nose sits with these. Again, it's actually not even touching my nose bridge with the way this faceplate on these goggles sit. Again, I can put my pinky right up into there and they're fine. Like these are, these are fine. These are perfectly comfortable. But because these goggles seem to have been designed with a flatter nose, a flatter nose area at the bridge, mine just bumps right into it. I don't think that this can be fixed by foam for me, and I'm gonna try to explain to you why putting thicker foam and getting my face farther away from the goggles as a whole, which would in turn push my nose away from the bridge, uh, would be an issue with these where they are not with the v, V1 and V2. These optics are not made to have your eyes far away from them. As your eyes pull back from these optics, what happens is you lose focus on the corners and you'll even see some of the edges of the optics start to creep in and surround it. The only way to fix this problem is to decrease your display size. So with goggle, with optics that you need to keep your face close to them in order to be able to have the best picture, I don't see how pushing my face back with a thicker foam is going to be a good idea. In fact, it will make the situation worse because I've simulated this by pulling the goggles back as I've done and looking at the image that I get, look at how the optics are designed, okay? It's no surprise that this is happening with the way they were designed here. Now I actually have blurring issues just using these by default with the way the foam is set and with the way they sit on my face. Um, I can't use these at 100% display. I have to downsize it to 90% for them to even be usable for me. And I say usable because at 90% display, the corners of it are still blur are, are still blurred. I get one blurry corner in the lower right hand area. And although I don't necessarily see corner blur in the others, I get darkened corners or rather like vignetting 
of sorts is the best way that I can describe it. It's very hard to communicate that blur issue that I have there. In order to really fully solve that, to have none of that, I have to drop these to 80%, okay? So the thought of pushing my face even farther back on these goggles and then maybe needing to drop it to like 70% to resolve that, this just doesn't, this just doesn't make sense for me. It just doesn't really make sense. So basically that's where I'm at with the DJI goggle too. I just can't make them fit for me. And I'm worried that there really won't be a viable solution. So unfortunately, between the comfort problems that I have due to my facial structure, especially this nose bridge, as well as the optical occlusion issues and blurring, I'm just not happy with these. I, I and I can't unsee it. I, like when I know that I put these on, and yes, I look like the Ant-Man, and yes, these have, these have flaws too, but not like these. Perhaps DJI will come up with a solution or perhaps they won't. I wouldn't want to wait to see if they do. So that's it. That's my experience with the DJI Goggle 2. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you took something away from it, something to consider. Again, I'll stress that goggle experiences for everyone are different from person to person. This was mine. I'm sticking with the original DJI FPV Goggle. Let me know in the comments if you have comfort problems with these. Are they pressing on your nose like mine? Do you have a big old honking nose like I do? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you on this issue. Also, any optical occlusion or blurriness or any of that, let me know if you have these problems at all. I know I just spent the last several minutes uh, kind of bashing them, but there's a lot to love about this goggle. But at the end of the day, the comfort and the vision are king for me, and these are better. It's just, that's, that's just it, and I can't, I can't change that. That's my experience. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things, and I'll catch you in the next one. I got Avada stuff coming up and uh yeah i'll see you around